Hi, it's Maria, and today we're going to be making enchilada casserole, and you are going to need, uh, first off, the meat that we'll be using is not actual meat. It's Morningstar meal starters, and it's uh, crumbles. It tastes just like meat after we spice it. You will not know that you're not eating meat. It has 75% less fat than meat does, and it's cholesterol free. And this is going to end up 400 calories a serving. So you will need two bags. It's two 12 ounce bags of the Morningstar meal starter crumbles. You will need about a tablespoon of garlic powder. You will need about a tablespoon of comino. That's in Spanish. In English, it's cumin. C U M I N. You are going to need 10 corn tortillas, half a cup of water half of a 15 ounce can of enchilada sauce, a one whole onion diced up, or you can leave that out if you don't like onion, two cups of no fat cheddar cheese, and one cup of regular cheddar cheese. Um, the reason we're doing two, fat, two cups of no fat and one cup of regular is because no fat cheese melts, but it, it kind of clumps up, it doesn't really spread. And on the top of the casserole, we're going to put the regular cheese so it can, you know, look better. So as you start, preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Oh, did I do 450? There we go. Okay. So oven is preheated at 450 degrees. Um, I'm going to cook this at high because I think this is already cooked. We re really just need to defrost it. So you go ahead and put your crumbles in both bags. Okay. Now I'm going to do the one tablespoon of garlic. Actually, I'm going to double the garlic and the cumino because I uh, I'm doubling what I usually make. So, if you want it to taste like Mexican food, like you know, a taco meat, that's that's basically how much you need. About two tablespoons of each, or you can just use your favorite taco meat spices that you can get already prepackaged. And then you go ahead and dump your half a cup of water in. That's because I'm not going to use any oil to fry this, and since this is made of vegetables, it doesn't have any grease. At this point, you just kind of stir it all to get the spices mixed up. Once it looks like you have the spices uh, really mixed in, that's when you can dump in your onion. And then fold that into it. All right, I'm going to cover this, and I'm probably going to let's see. Let me think for a second. Um, I don't think this is the correct lid. Yeah, I'm going to cover it, put it on medium. I'm going to let it simmer for about two to three minutes. Come back and stir it, and then simmer again for two to three minutes. Okay. Let it sit for a little bit and mix it around. Um, you really just need to make sure it's hot, so just kind of touch it because it was in a frozen state. This is where we're going to add our enchilada sauce. Just do a little at a time because you don't want to make it real runny. But if I remember the last time, I think I used about a half a can. We'll see in just a minute. You don't want it dry either because it needs to uh, wet the tortillas a little bit to make them softer. All right, that's about half a can right there, so let me see how that looks. And that looks like it's going to do it. Perfect. You don't want it too runny, but you don't want it dry either. 
And uh, my husband John is the one filming, and he can tell you that this tastes just like meat, doesn't it, baby? Yes, it tastes just like meat. It even has the same texture as meat, as ground beef. My kids eat it in their uh, tacos, taco salads. And even if, uh, we're not meat eaters, but even if you're a meat eater, you should try this. Because like I said, it has 75% less fat and it, no cholesterol. All right, once that's heated with the sauce in it, let me see, my oven's not quite ready, but that's okay. That's where we start to put it together. I have a package of 10 tortillas, and I'm going to take three out. And this is real simple. This is my casserole dish. I don't know, what do you think the size is, baby? I'm not sure. We can edit it in later. I'll, I'll tell you the size of it at the end because if you do this in six parts it's going to be roughly about 400 calories. Alright, so you're going to tear the pieces in about that size and just put them in the bottom. So about tortilla chip size. No, it's actually smaller baby. A little baby. bit smaller. You just need to make sure, because you only have ten, so you just need to make sure you're going to coat it and not leave too many uh, empty spaces there. Don't burn your stomach, baby. Be careful. Now, did you leave this on simmering? No, I turned it off. Okay. All right, so we're going to actually do three layers. So, you know, you can kind of just separate the meat into three parts. You'll be able to guess. All right, so you're going to put, ah, I just made a mess on the stove. Baby. So you're going to put about a third of this in. All right. Now, the no fat cheese is what we're doing. You're going to put half of it. That This is going to come out so cheesy and good, and you're just going to feel like you're eating something really, really bad. Okay, then we start on our second layer. Three more tortillas. And if you have kids and they like to help you cook, I'm sure they would love to help with this part. I've had my children help me before and then they feel like they took part in the meal. Besides just the eating of it. Yeah. Of course, once they get to teenager status, they're not really interested in that anymore. Oh, my oven's ready. Okay, now we're going to put some more meat on that. I guess I should scoop that over. What are you telling me I'm going to make a boring video? No, just it's already at like eight minutes. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, then you put the second half of the no fat cheese. And then the last four tortillas on top. And you're going to put this in the oven uh, on 450, I would say for about 10 minutes at the most maybe. Because it's already hot. You just want to get the cheese melted and bubbling. Alrighty. Last of the meat in. one cup of regular cheddar cheese right on top and pop this baby in the oven. Look at all the mess I made on the stove. All right we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Okay my casserole is done. I've taken it out and I let it sit for 10 minutes because it makes it easier to serve. Um, we measured the dish. It's, a, it's 8 by 11. I haven't cut any of the pieces yet, but I just kind of marked it like that just to make it easier. And let me get it out and plate it. And this is going to be uh, 400 calories. It might be a little hard to take out on one piece. And then you kind of got to go back and... And there you go. It's delicious. You can serve it alongside some brown rice or a salad. 400 calories, you feel like you're eating something majorly bad and it's not.
I hope you try it and enjoy.